you know, thrifting, everybody loves thrifting because the come up, essentially. What's the biggest come up you've ever gotten? Like, when you bought something super cheap and you're like, man, this is worth a lot of money. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. Um, there, I mean, with thrifting, there's good days and bad days. So I, I would have to say, I mean, the biggest come up is just when you have a good day. I mean, you can literally go to 10, 12 stores and not find a thing. And then sometimes you can go to two stores and find a trunk load of stuff. So it's kind of like, I'd say the biggest come up is just basically just uh, I'm going to show you real quick. Yesterday we went thrifting <laughs> and we found these 2005 Air Max ones. So these are pretty good. They how, go for, how much did you guys get those for at the thrift? We got these for, what, 10 bucks? Yeah. 10 bucks. And these go for probably around 200 $250. So those and are they're still looking. wearable and everything? Yeah, still, still wearable, wearable and everything. everything. Soles yeah. are still intact as well. How's the quality on those compared to the new version, you think? Honestly, Air Max 1 really in my cup of tea, but uh, feeling just the quality of it, I would say these are a lot better than what's coming out nowadays. Um, just it looks like they put a lot more craftsmanship on it. Do, do you feel like runners are a big thing now that, you know, because we always see the waves, like we saw the Jordan wave, we saw the A6 wave, and then, you know, we saw the Adidas wave, and I feel like Nike's kind of coming back into the forefront again with their whole Air Max thing. What do you yeah. feel about the whole Air Max wave now that everybody's got to be wearing Air Max? Uh, I would say that, I mean, in my opinion, Nike never really died out. I mean, I know Adidas had their little, like you said, their little wave there for a while, which is still pretty much popping at this point. But uh, in my opinion, I think Nike really never would die down. I mean, that's the most iconic sneaker in the world. Um, everybody knows what Nikes are, so. You know, everybody, I mean, you've been in the sneaker game for a while, right? Yeah. So everybody has gotten got some time with a pair of fake sneakers. Yeah. You have a story about when you got a pair of fake sneakers and you're like, fuck, man, like, these are fake. Um, I do, actually, but I knew they were fake when I got them. Uh, I still went ahead and got them. Basically, I, I didn't buy them. They were given to me. Um, one of my friends from back in the day when we were growing up, his brother actually ordered a pair of Bread 11s on some website or some shit, and they were like $55. Off top, as a kid, I'm like, there's no way those Jordans are $55. But anyways, he got them. Of course, they were fake, so he was pretty upset about it, so he just like gave them to me. And I was like, I don't really care. I was like, I'll wear them. So I wore them, and I had those breads for years.